Hands off all the warriors All those late nights walking through front doors at daybreak Raise all of your glasses high This one's to all of us sitting around here on Friday night Aging, hating Mondays And sitting staring at the clock Dying to get away Don't look back and ignore regrets We've only got to Hey guys, it's Mondays with Jackie Welcome to the Closet Collab this week's topic is meeting people. Okay, well technically, it's how do we find other LGBTQ friends or lovers. First of all, I wanna point out my wicked kick-ass necklace. The fangs. Yeah, I know I'm a complete dork, but anyway. Now, the golden rule to meeting people and not just LGBTQ members is to be confident and social. If you're not willing to throw yourself out there in a social um, setting, and you're kind of shy and you don't and you're afraid to like introduce yourself to people it's gonna be hard to meet anybody in the first place so confidence is key it's not really that hard to identify LGBTQ members in the first place um, a good way if you're still in high school or maybe even in college if they have the group is it's called GSA which is gay straight Alliance I think Carly mentioned it um, and it's a really good way to actually meet people um, who can also introduce you to other people because what I've seemed to notice about the gay and lesbian world, at least, is that everyone knows everybody and everyone is somehow connected. So, um, at least from my experience, what I, what I experienced was I made friends with this girl, Casey. I met her on MySpace, actually, which, I mean, MySpace and Facebook aren't always a bad choice. It's really easy to meet people in the community through MySpace and Facebook. You just have to be really careful of who you meet be a good judge of character and make sure they're real um but I met this girl Casey who ended up knowing everybody and so through association with her I met everybody like my fucking fly away like what is that like why I don't know why Ooh, we're scared anyway sorry I Another way that you can meet people is a lot of places, I know that New Hampshire has the club, the 313, and um, it is a gay and lesbian, transgender, all that jazz club. Um, a lot of straight people still go there, but I remember for my 18th birthday, I went with a few of my friends, um, my gay friends, to go, and I ended up meeting, oh my god, I met so many people, danced with so many people, clubs are a great watering hole for meeting people especially if you're looking for someone it's a great way to kind of cut loose dance with people um get to know each other another way to meet people is go to gay pride go to the pride parades you meet people so much there i have met ridiculous amounts of people at pride you just go and you walk around and you just randomly talk to people i mean at the time, if I just saw a girl that I thought was kind of cool again, I'd like walk up and be like, what's up, my name is Jackie. Like, that's the point. So, um, Pride is a really great way to meet people. So find out when your, um, your area's Pride is. And you can go to Pride with a few friends or whatever. And um, have a great day. And meet a lot of new people. Don't be afraid to ask for phone numbers. Don't be afraid to get to know people. Because um, there are so many of us. And it can be difficult sometimes to find people if you don't know how. The great thing about the LGBTQ community is, um, like I said, we're all connected. And um, after I started hanging out with Casey, after I stopped hanging out with her and we didn't really associate anymore, I um, held on to some of the friends that I had made and in turn made more friends. And now it's just, I honestly know almost every lesbian in the New Hampshire mass sort of main area. Um, People, Facebook is a big thing, like, it's it's cool to keep connected, like, because you might meet someone and then never see them again. Facebook is a great resource. Um, let's say you make a Facebook friend with somebody and you met them with a couple other people. If you look through their friends, you can find those other people, add them, um, start a dialogue. Because I know that my group of friends that I hang out with, I have two different groups of friends, and I have a couple gay people in one and then all gay people in the other. And the one in the um, all gay people, basically... It grew from like 10 of us to now we have parties and there's about 40 of us. And we all just um, kind of linked together and it's like a giant, amazing community. And I love it. So 
clubs, GSA, Pride Parades, MySpace, Facebook, Gay.com, um, anything really. It all depends on also, which is, this is a great tool for you if you're gay, is your gaydar. Some people have it, some people don't. If you're some of the people that don't really have it, or you just can't pin this one person and you want to know, a great way in a conversation to find out if someone's gay is mention that you are. Um, sometimes if I'm trying to figure out if some chick is gay and I can't tell, even though I have really good gaydar, um, I'll just be like, what, I'll, I'll initiate a conversation about dating or something and bring up like, yeah, my last, my ex-girlfriend or something like that to kind of make them feel comfortable because a lot of the time if you say like, they, if they haven't mentioned it, you say like my ex-girlfriend, all of a sudden they're like, oh, she's gay too. And they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gay too. Like, blah, blah, blah. And they'll like talk with you. It's a great, great way that I've learned to kind of bring out if someone's gay and find out if um, they play for the same team as you. So, yeah, that's all I can really tell you about meeting new people. Just be social, have a good time, have some gaydar, and um, don't be afraid to experience new things. All right, bye, guys. I'd like to do a disclaimer right now. If you meet people off of MySpace or Facebook, and it ends up being a 300-pound hairy man, it is totally not my fault. Unless you're into that. Bye, guys. See you next week.